Hello everyone, this is George with the Paper Panda Crafts. Um, I am back with a um, kind of a quick uh, demo, I guess. I had a, f uh, a subscriber um, ask to show um, how to cut down a notepad, a junior legal notepad, um, to specifically two and three eighths um, inches wide um, by eight inches. So. And for those of y'all that don't know, um, these this is a junior legal pad. It is eight inches by five inches. Um, you can get these a lot of places. Um, I got the Pen and Gear brand from Walmart. I kind of like this one because it has this black border on the top. I can do a um, a wrap around with a decorative piece of paper to make it match the notepad. Um, you don't have to do that. I just do. You can also get these. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three. Um, so do these, the Pen and Gear from Walmart. These come in a pack of three as well. Um, the ones from Dollar Tree, they do come uh, glued together, so you have to separate them. Um, the good thing about the, uh, the Dollar Tree ones is that they don't have the margin, so you don't have to worry about that, whereas the um, Walmart ones do. They'll have the red margin here. So... Um, Depending on if that bothers you or not, then you will have to um, put it in there a different way. So, um, but I figured I would come on and do a demo of that, how to use this thing to um, to cut and how it operates and things like that for people that may not be too familiar with it. Um, a few people did say that they purchased it based on... Um, my review of this and that <laughs> that really makes me feel good it makes me feel like i i did something so cool i'm really glad that my um my video helped um helped in your decision making so it makes me happy um i would also like to thank my new subscribers and i am officially at 100 subscribers so yay me <laughs> um so but thank you everybody i really appreciate it and i will um, do my best to keep y'all entertained. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I do have my camera up a little bit higher than normal, so hopefully y'all can see everything. I wanted to get everything in the shot as much as I could. Um, I still can't get the handle in here enough, but, um, that's as high as the camera will go. Um, so anyway, um, so when you get this out of the box, the first thing that you will do is this will come separate which this is your little um, handle that will raise and lower your presser foot here um, this will come um, off just so that way it doesn't get broken during shipping um, but it's super simple to put on they give you the allen wrench um, to screw it on just make sure you put it on like this with this little turny handle facing out I've seen some reviews where they put the handle on backwards and then left a negative review saying the handle doesn't turn all the way. Well, you put on the handle backwards. <laughs> so it's not this company's fault. <laughs> so just make sure that you put everything on, follow the directions. Um, and it's, it's really super simple setup. You get your little black feet, which you probably can't see, but, um, they're on the bottom here. They just kind of give it the grip to where it doesn't slide. Um, it does come with little black rubber things along the edge. Um, the feet will not go on your corners over those rubber linings. For those of y'all that ordered it, you'll see what I mean. You will have to take those off. I don't think they're necessary. You can take them off and they probably just keep it from getting dented or scratched during shipping. Um, so you will have to take those off to put the feet on. I liked the way it looked, so I actually cut mine down to fit in between the um, the little feeties. Um, so that, but I don't think it's necessary. So yeah, but it's super simple setup. Um, the handle will come packaged um, 
wrapped in plastic in the box and all you do is you just take it and that's it. <laughs> um, the rest of it comes assembled from what I can remember. Um, but once you get it all set up, that's pretty much it. So the way you're going to use it is you're going to unscrew this, not completely, you're just going to loosen it just to where you can slide it. It does take a little bit of finagling to slide this thing, but it's nothing, it's nothing too difficult. Um, so the one thing I will say, you cannot do very small cuts with this. The smallest cut you can do with using this guard is down to about two and one eighth of an inch. That's the smallest you're gonna get using the guard. Now you can do smaller cuts if you want to freehand it um, and lower your presser foot to hold it in place. You can do that. You run the risk of it not coming out completely straight um, because you don't have something to square it up with. But if you're confident in your cutting skills, um, go for it. <laughs> um, and the longest you will get using this is, it looks like 11 and 3 quarters. Um, that is the longest you will get using the guard. Um, this does come off. I'm not going to take it off because I accidentally did, oops, I shook the camera, sorry. Um, I accidentally took it off and it was kind of a pain to put back on, but I got it back on. But um, once you get your desired length, you're going to tighten it back down, and then you'll put your material in, whatever you're going to cut, chipboard, paper, what have you, in here, and then you'll cut it. Um, I will say, it at first, for some reason, I had a hard time lining it up to the correct inch because... I was lining it up according to the number, but it's the little line on the right side of the number. That is the line that you want to go with for each number. And once you start getting to the double digits, it's the line in between the number. So something to remember. It might be common sense for some people, but for me, I was just dumbfounded. I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> so um, yeah. So it took me a minute to realize, oh, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Um, so let's cut down this junior legal pad. So we're going to move this to two and three eighths of an inch, which is almost the smallest that, that, will, that this will go. Um, so we got one, two, three eighths of an inch. And then we're going to tighten it down, nice and tight. Once you get this to where you want it, if this red line bothers you, then you're going to put it in like this, to where the part that's going to get cut off will be will have this red line. If it doesn't bother you, go ahead and put it in like this. So we are going to load our material, our notepad, in. And hopefully y'all can see that. And we're going to get it nice and squared, pushed up against the back and pushed up against the side. So we're going to get it all nice and squared up. Then we're going to turn it the right way to lower our presser foot. Um, I always do that. I constantly turn it the wrong way. I don't know why. In my head, I always have to do the lefty-loosey, righty-tighty in my head every single time. <laughs> so... We get this nice and tight, and um, you don't have to do overkill, but just get it nice and tight to where when you pull your handle down, whatever you have in here is not going to move. So this does have a safety on it right here. Um, your handle will stick straight up like this. I broke my safety, unfortunately. so. It still keeps the blade from coming all the way down, but it now sits like this. So not all of, not yours won't sit like this. Mine does because I broke it. Long story. Anyway, um, so once you get your material set, 
you're going to push your safety down and you're going to hold it down and you're going to pull your handle down and that's it. So we have the leftovers. This is what got cut off the side with the red line. Don't throw this away because you can save it. You can use it for something. You can make another little notepad out of it. You can use it to write down dimensions. I save the, even the smallest little part I will save to write down dimensions for a project, um, make notes on while I'm tinkering around with something that I have an idea of in my head. So save all these little scraps, just like you would save scraps of anything else. So once you get it cut, you're gonna raise your presser foot and voila, you have a notepad that is two and three eighths by eight inches. You are now free to do whatever you want with it. <laughs> so um, you can cut, this one will cut, it says up to, I think it says 400 pages at once of, I think it's just regular copy paper. Um, in my previous video, I did demo that it cut through a good amount of paper. I think that might have been like, I want to say like 80 sheets or 100 sheets of 24 pound um, text weight copy paper. So it will cut through some heavy duty stuff. Um, I Like I said, I use this to cut all my chipboard, even just a single piece at a time. I will use this. Um, I use it to cut down all my notepads. Um, I use it for every, probably the only thing I don't use is just to cut a single piece of paper. You can, but this is a little bit of overkill. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this one down as well. Um, we're gonna leave it at two and three eighths. And like I said, these are already eight inches long. So we don't need to cut any length off if you're gonna be working with an eight inch notepad. So we already have this set at two and three eighths. Um, we're going to load our notepad in from this side. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do both just to show y'all. If you wanna make up a bunch of notepads, then you can cut like three or four at a time. And so I have two in there. And since, you know what, this one's a little bit wider than two and three eighths, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in there too. I'm gonna see if this one will um, get cut the rest of the way. Because for as big as this machine is, or this contraption, it can still do some pretty accurate cuts. Okay, get everything all lined up and squared up. Lower my presser foot. And of course, I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. I was wondering why it wasn't getting tighter. Duh. All right. So we got it nice and tight. So release your safety and then pull down. Now, obviously, the more paper you put in here, the harder it's going to be to pull, but it's still not a whole lot of effort. And there we go. And this is a little bit that it cut off. Now, I am not going to save this because I cannot make notes on this. I don't have that small a handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> so, lift up our presser foot, and there we go. We have our small little skinny notepads. And same thing, I'm going to put these in there and cut them down too, because why not? 
All right, I got it right this time. <laughs> Here are your leftovers. See what I mean? I mean, it's a huge machine, but you can still do precision things with it. And it gets the straightest cut. If it comes out crooked, then check this thing. Make sure that it's completely on the line that you're going to, because sometimes it can get a little crooked. But as long as you make sure that it's straight, your cuts are going to come out straight. But there we go. Now I've got to make some little notepads. <laughs> so there we go. That's it. That's that's the basic functions of this thing. It's it's um it's such a great investment. I love mine and I'm so happy that um some of y'all have ordered it and um you know that my video had some influence in that so hopefully this video helps if y'all had any questions about using it and things like that um, I hope this specifically helps the subscriber that asked um, uh, for this video um, demoing how to cut down a junior legal notepad to two and three eighths by eight um, a junior legal notepad is already eight inches long so we don't need to do anything in this direction so we only had to cut it down to here. Um, but yeah, so if you guys liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Tell your friends and tell your family. <laughs> Leave me a comment of what you'd like to see in my future videos. I will be trying to upload at least one video a week on Mondays. And um, I'll do everything from demos to reviews to hauls to paper crafts anything paper craft related so yeah um, i'll see you all in the next one bye